This is a setup video to show you how to deal with the simplified uh, true solo variant for massive darkness. Now here I've got the tiles laid out for the chosen one scenario, quest number three, but you can use any of the scenarios. So I set it up just like normal, except I'm not going to use the level tokens or the skill sheets. In this true solo variant, I will get out five regular treasures, three special treasures, two treasures that I've marked up as null treasures so that uh, you don't get a treasure if you turn those over, and one treasure that I've marked as a trap. In this version of Massive Darkness, the enemies will be level 3, so your hero will be fully equipped at level 3, and if you have any roaming monsters, you'll use the lesser roaming monster, unless the scenario directs you otherwise. The treasure tokens replace the treasure tokens you'd normally get um, using the door cards. So you'll just flip these over and mix them up and then distribute them throughout the scenario as you see fit. So in the chosen scenario, there's already a number of artifacts in a number of the rooms. So we'll only put a few treasures there. Now we can put treasures in the halls as well as in rooms. There's nothing in the first two rooms, so I'm going to go ahead and put two treasures in each of the rooms. I'll then put one treasure in each of the rooms in the middle of the uh, game, and then put a couple of them in the middle halls, especially near the end. I'm going to play with Elias the Battle Wizard, and I'm going to play at normal mode, so I'm going to start with a health of 10. If you want it to be harder, you can set it to 5, and to make it easier, you can set it to either 15 or 20. You can use your Shadow Mode skill and your Special skill. I like to have a weapon in each hand, but you could have a two-handed weapon if you wanted, and we're not going to use the Attack Bams or Diamonds or the Defense uh, Bams. Finally, for this variant of Massive Darkness, we want to choose a room that is a healing room. So it should be chosen somewhere in the middle or close to the end, three quarters of the way through the dungeon. I'm going to choose this room over here, and I'm going to take uh, just any of the level tokens and place it face up just to remember uh, what that room is, and I will uh, place an open door. So they don't have to open the door to get in there, they just have to get to that room. So whenever your hero comes to this room, they can roll the red dice to see if they can heal. They can roll it once per action. And if you roll a bam, you get half of your health. So for example, I'm playing on the normal mode, meaning that I have a maximum health of 10. So if I roll a bam, I get 5 health points. If I roll a diamond, I get 10 health points or take the hero up to full health. So that's the basic setup for the simplified variant of Massive Darkness, True Solo. Now you're ready to play.